our first medals to be won and awarded here at this year's World Championship. We've got the women's marathon. Here we go then. The marathon is underway and what drama lies in store over the next 26.2 miles. And that's the last we'll see of them until they come back in again some two hours, maybe 19 minutes later. It's getting interesting. We now have one Italian, one Kenyan, one Ethiopian and one Japanese athlete. And this could be the point of the race where the medals really start getting decided. And Valeria Stranio is a woman on a mission for a first global medal. And what a story it would be if she could, if she could even get a bronze or a silver, if she could win, well, she it would be it, an extraordinary yeah. race. I think everybody would put their hand up and say that she certainly deserves a medal after this performance. After leading for an hour and a half of the World Championships, if the wheels come off and she misses out, then we will be terribly sad, I think. But she is still going strong. And look, Steve, a little bit of a gap is opening up, and Fukushi, the 10,000 meter specialist, has just allowed, even if it's only five or no. eight meters at this stage, that's an indication that the Japanese athlete is finding this hard yeah. to live with. Yeah, you don't give ground at this stage of a race. And look at this, Steve. We have another little interesting development here. Well, we were talking about Melkamu, but gone. she's off the back well. now. And we only have the Italian, Valeria Stranio, and the defending world champion, Edna Kiplagat. Meselesh Melkamu, having not put a foot wrong for the last one hour, 50 minutes, is suddenly finding life difficult here. The odds would have to be in Fukushi's favour here as she continues to close down. Melkamu, well, Melkamu holding her left leg, she's got a problem. Well, she looked over her shoulder there and saw like Fukushi here, coming and literally just yeah, touched her leg as if to say, I've had it, I can't go on. Look, there you go. We're now it's... watching the battle for third and it's over. Melkamu is clutching that left leg. She tucked in behind the Japanese athlete and her race perhaps is over. So... They're now getting very, very close. They've done 40K. They're still on course for around about, what, 226-ish. And now Edna Kiplagat has hit the front. Well, that was significant, but whether or not Stadio can go with her or not is another question. But I think uh, at that point, the Kenyan obviously decided that that was the, ma the move to make at that checkpoint. This is her bid to create history. She will very soon hear the applause of the crowd and there are quite a few people who've been watching on the big screens here they're starting to respond now many many people standing on their feet in respect of a champion's performance the first woman in history to successfully defend the world championship title over the marathon distance and she's done it with arguably the hardest race of her career all credit to her as the emotion shows, but so too for Valeria Stranio, the Italian who led almost the whole way. She's slowing to a walk. This is an athlete who is rejuvenated after surgery three years ago, and she will never, ever forget the greatest performance of her life, which has been rewarded with World Championship silver. She has won the war of attrition with her compatriot, it's a beautiful smile and it's a face that's lighting up telling you that she's a world championship bronze medalist inside 228 but the time is absolutely irrelevant she too has played her part in one of the great world championship marathons what a day what a fabulous two and a half hours and what a manner in which edna kiplagat for the second time lays claim to the World Championship gold medal.